Today we're going to learn how to multiply decimals. Yesterday we did adding and subtracting decimals. When you add and subtract decimals, you have to line up the decimal points. When you multiply decimals, you don't have to line anything up. So, for instance, on the first one where it says 6 times 0.01, you're going to go 6 times point zero one and just multiply like normal. Don't worry about the decimal yet, just multiply like normal. Six times one is six. Six times zero is zero. Now you have two decimal places. One, one, two two places past the decimal. So you come over to the end of the number and back your decimal up two places. You move in one, two, and you end up with point zero six. We're not lining anything. We're counting decimals at the end. There's no lining up. Just count them at the end. Let's do the next one. One point twenty five times twenty three. 1.25 times 23. Ignore the decimal. Just multiply like normal. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry your 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 3 times 1 is 3. Then 2 times 5 Oh, first put your zero down, then two times five is ten. Carry your one, two times two is four, plus one is five. Then two times one is two. Now you're ready to add them up. So you have five, seven, eight, two. Now the last step is to go back and count the decimal places. Well, there's one, two places past the decimal. So we're going to start over here at the end of the number and scoot in two spaces and put our decimal right there. So 28.75. Okay, let's try one more. Negative 2.78 times 0 0.8. First, decide at the beginning the answer is going to be negative because a negative times a positive is a negative. So now that you know the answer is going to be negative, you just write the numbers down and multiply like no normal. So 2.78 times 0 0.8. We're not lining anything up. We're just writing them down. Remember, it doesn't matter if they're lined up. We only line them up when we're adding and subtracting. Now you just multiply like normal. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 7 is 56. Plus 6 is 62. Carry your 6. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. Okay. Then, when I multiply by the zero, I'm just going to get a row of zeros. So basically, I'm not going to do that. I'm done. And now i got to go see how many decimal places there are. One, two, three. Three decimal places. So start at the end of the number and go back three and place your decimal. So your decimal goes here. So 2.2, 2.224. Here's your video homework. Remember, we're not lining anything up. We're counting them up at the end and starting and moving it back in the right number of spaces. We don't have to line up decimals to multiply. Have a good night.